I am Dr. Shazia Hyder, and today we're going to talk about the botulinum protein type A, of which there are a few products out there in the market, one of which is called Zeoman, the other is Disport, but most people know this product as Botox. Now, what is Botox and what do we use it for? Basically, Botox is the number one minimal, minimally invasive procedure uh, cosmetically. And we use this um, for wrinkles in the face and actually is used in different parts of the body. Uh, Botox is a purified protein which comes from the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. And what this does is it blocks signals which are sent from the brain to our muscle. And so by blocking it, one cannot move that muscle. By relaxing these muscles, it smooths over the wrinkles. Now, what do we use these for? In particular, and very commonly, we use this for these 11 lines. You can actually see them on me. Um, or some people have one line here when they frown. They can have, some people have three lines in the middle. And by injecting Botox into these areas, one can relax these muscles and smooth over the muscles temporarily. The other place that one uses it is over this muscle up here. And when one gets a surprised face, we, some people have lines across the top. And this muscle is called frontalis. By relaxing frontalis and injecting it over the forehead, this muscle is relaxed and those lines can go away. Now, if the frown line is very deep seated, then it may just relax and smooth over the wrinkle rather than completely taking it away. And we can work on completely taking it away by using dermal fillers, and we will discuss that in another video. Another very common place we use uh, the botulinum toxin is in these crow's feet lines. Now, crow's feet are when we smile, we can see these lines that go there. Some people have very happy faces and they're always making these crow's feet lines. And by gently injecting this area into the orbicularis oculi muscle, we relax that, that muscle goes all the way around the eye, you relax it, and the lines get smoothed over and possibly completely gone temporarily, typically for up to three months in most people. And then one has to do that procedure again. Now, a few things that one needs to look out for when choosing a provider to give you this service is to make sure that they are a medical professional. Medical professional meaning a registered nurse, a physician's assistant, uh, a nurse practitioner, or a physician. If they these professionals are not a physician, they must be they must be uh, supervised by a physician very closely. And this these are the um, guidelines according to the Medical Board of California. Different states have different laws. One wants to make sure that they do a good examination and take a history from you and make sure that you are a candidate for this procedure. People who are not candidates are women who are pregnant or potentially pregnant, breastfeeding, um, are on certain types of antibiotics, have or have a neuromuscular disorder like ALS or myasthenia gravis. And uh, lastly, people who have an anaphylactic reaction to eggs. So anaphylaxis means a serious reaction where the throat closes over and you it is a life-threatening reaction. So people who have those type of reactions to eggs should not have the botulinum toxin procedure done to them. Um, if you want more information, I have more videos, please check out our Facebook page on Renaissance MD 
Facebook page and you can actually see me getting Botox done and a lot of a lot more fun information on that site. Thank you for watching.